Hey there everyone, welcome to this video. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And this is just going to be a quick video, especially for those of you who watch my video series where I build out websites. So this video is for those of you who need a privacy policy or a terms and conditions page or terms of service page. I'm just going to quickly show you how to do that. And then if you've been following along on my video series, I just designed that these pages in Divi. So I've left a link in the description and it will bring you to this website called privacypolicygenerator.info and all we need to do is just complete information on the right here. So I'm going to use an example of a website I've just built which is a tourism website. So for the company name I'm just going to put in Tour South Africa. So website name is called Tour South Africa as well. My URL, I'm just going to come to the dashboard here and copy this website. I'm going to paste it in there. And then I'm just going to click on the next button. This says, do you use cookies on your website? Just select yes. Do you show advertising through Google Analytics on your website? I just choose yes, although I don't show Google Analytics, but you might want to in the future, then you don't have to go and change the privacy policy. Do you show advertising from third parties except Google? I again will just select yes and click next. Then yeah, you're going to select your country. So I'm in South Africa. I'm going to select my state or my province is actually, it's actually a province. And then I'm going to put in the, my email address here. And then I'm just going to click this button that says generate my privacy policy. And there is the privacy policy over there. So we could just copy the text to clipboard and then we can come to our website. We can come to pages. And then over here, we've created this privacy policy in terms and conditions page. And this is what I'm going to show you. So we first want to edit our privacy policy page and I'm going to select this option to edit with Divi. I'm just opening it in the new tab. Then for this option, I'm going to choose to build from scratch. And I just need a single column row, which I'm going to select. And I need the text module. So I'll select the text module. Then I'm just going to delete this placeholder text and paste in my privacy policy. Okay, so it doesn't come out properly yet. What we actually need to do, let's delete it out there and over here let's change this to text not visual but text and then paste in the privacy policy and there we go there is the privacy policy done and you can save that click on the three dots there and then save the page and let's exit the visual builder Right, then we have our privacy policy all done. So let's just go back here. The next policy we want to create is a terms and conditions policy. And that's another website, which I'll also leave in the description. And it's called termsandconditionsgenerator.com. Basically the same as this site. All we're going to do again is put in the company name. And then copy that. And then paste it as our website name. And then just again put in our website URL. Click next. Right, then we need to select our country, our states or province, and then enter our email address again. And then click this button that says generate my terms and conditions. And like the other website, we can just click this button that says copy text to clipboard. Come back to our pages here. Hover over Terms and Conditions and select the option to edit with Divi. So we get these options again. You can build from scratch, but I'm actually going to clone an existing page now. And the page I'm going to clone is the Privacy Policy page. And I'll just click this button that says Use This Layout. and just hover over our privacy policy content and click on the module settings. 
Let's make sure we in text, not visual. Delete the privacy policy text, paste in the terms and conditions, and save that. And then we can click save. And guys, you can read through these um, these policies if you want to. And just make sure it is all correct and it, it does pertain to your website. So maybe just go through it the first time and check that it's all correct. And then we can exit the visual builder. And we've done a privacy policy in terms of conditions page. So we are done. And that's how you can do it for absolutely free of charge. So guys, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, please remember to like the videos and to please subscribe. And I will chat to you soon. Have a good one.